Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 14 Elijah, the Disruptor of Israel In this lecture, we delve into the stories of the prophets in the Old Testament, beginning with Elijah. His story takes him from defying the ruling powers to seeking refuge at the margins, where he hangs on precariously. Elijah's next move is to challenge the legitimacy of the ruling couple, King Ahab and Queen Jezebel, who promote the worship of the god Baal, leading to a conflict over religious truth and the government's authority. Elijah's bold confrontation centers around the question of rainfall, a power attributed to Baal. He challenges disbelief by prophesying a drought, demonstrating that Baal cannot control the weather as claimed. This act puts him in opposition to the ruling power, forcing him to seek safety in the region east of the Jordan River and later in the village of Sarepath near Jezebel's hometown. Here, Elijah meets an impoverished widow on the brink of starvation. Through his audacious request, he receives sustenance from her demonstrating the ironic subversion of the power dynamics at play. In the next phase of Elijah's story, the focus shifts from the margins to the center. He challenges King Ahab to a contest on Mount Carmel to determine whose god, Baal or the god of Israel, is truly powerful. Elijah's dramatic victory over the prophets of Baal turns to defeat when he slaughters the, them, provoking Jezebel's wrath, leading him to flee once again. In the third phase, Elijah grapples with his inner struggle against despair. After journeying to Mount Horeb, he expresses his feelings of hopelessness to God, feeling that he is the only faithful one left in Israel. God's response comes not in the grandiose displays of nature, but in a still, small voice reminding Elijah of his responsibility and the thousands in Israel who remain faithful. In the final part of the story, Elijah confronts Ahab and Jezebel once more, this time over the abuse of political authority. He stands against their efforts to take a vineyard from a man named Naboth. A clash of principles ensues, revealing the tension between those who believe everything can be, bo can be bought and those who hold firm to their principles. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literature series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us today as we explore the tumultuous and inspiring journey of Elijah, a prophet that challenged kings and weathered the storms of his time. If you've been moved by the story of Elijah's audacity and faith, then you're in for another powerful session in our next episode. We'll be diving into the lives of two more prophets who stood at the forefront of change. Amos and Hosea. Their messages echo through time, steering hearts and urging a call to justice and divine love. We'll unravel the rhetoric of Amos, who exposed the shadow of injustice in a time of prosperity, and Hosea's poignant portrayal of an unfaithful love, drawing parallels that reach into our present day. So don't miss out on this profound narrative. Click on the screen to subscribe and be notified when episode 15, Amos and Hosea, Themes of Justice and Love, goes live. Let's continue to seek wisdom from the past that speaks to us today.
Until then, keep pondering, keep questioning, and may our journey for truth be as relentless as the prophets of old. And for those who want to start from the beginning or have missed our previous discussions, check out the links on the screen. See you next time.